you know what, man. Hello, everybody. It's me. It's I Hate Will. How y'all doing today? I'm doing spectacular. Thank you for asking. Uh, we are low on food, so... Uh, let's go grab some steak or some mutton. Not sure what I have left. <clears throat> I've got three chickens, two bread, a bunch of zombie flesh. There we go. Aha! <coughs> oh, excuse me. This is Funk the World. In this world, in this series, we, uh, we do little world building. This is our amplified map. This is where we do to do amplified things. It is fresh, it is new, it is fun for me to do. The other world is the old Funk City server world that I downloaded from our server uh, when I, I turn off the power on it. Now, what we are going to do today, because I'm trying to get some stuff done, um, we are halting construction on the road for now. Um, because if I don't, I'm going to run out of stone. <laughs> and since these are just placeholders anyway, uh, I can, I can kind of wait it out. And, and we have plenty of room there to play with. Hi. We have plenty of room there to play, uh, around with, with new builds on new sites. Hi. Uh, so it won't be a problem. But I was thinking, you know what? Can I, okay, can I say a word? Then I'm going to go over here. You're a jerk. Uh, we want these roads to stretch out and, and reach other villages, other towns, other cities, other parts of the map. And, you know, while we're going to have some kind of predominant road, it'll probably be overgrown a little bit and hard to see from time to time. And um, you know what would be really great are some beacons. Not Minecraft beacons, but beacons in the mountainside. You, if you recall... I think it was Lord of the Rings they had this, um, when they were contacting, I think, what city, was it Rohan that was contacting each other, or Rohan contacting Gondor, I don't remember, but the humans were contacting each other, and they lit beacon, after beacon, after beacon, after beacon, all throughout their mountains, uh, mountain range, and I was thinking, that'd be really cool to have here. Um, I'm trying to figure out a location, though, because I don't want it to be too high, um, and I don't want it to be in a place that I, I deem, uh, a location for a more interesting build. I was thinking maybe this is a good place for one of them, maybe even the starting one, and then have them go that way or that way. I'm not sure after we build here, because we're going to be here for a while, I'm not sure where we're going with it next, but let's go ahead and lay this out. Usually I like to use smooth stone to lay something like this out. Let's get rid of this. Um, just to, to get the overall shape that I can curve later. But n today we're going to use diorite, and I was thinking we should do just a really simple skinny, um, it'll be, let's see, two by two, right, two by, no, that's not right, I messed it up already. We should bring this out a little bit more to the left anyway. I should... Pop and pop, pop and pop, pop and pop, pop and pop. There you go. Very nice. Let me just double check from the uh, downtown over there. <laughs> Make sure it's okay. I'm getting a few frame issues. 19, 25, 49. There we go. Hold still. Uh, Where is it? Be right there. Is that blocking the view of anything? I don't want it to block the view of anything. Well, let's get it. Let's get her built to the size that we want, and then determine if it's a problem. But uh, I've been really inspired lately. Everything that I do, uh, as far as uh, any kind of TV I I, I watch, uh, driving around town, I, I look at city buildings and. Uh, interesting uh, designs. Everything comes back to Minecraft for me. Everything comes back to. I wonder if I can pull that off. You know, what blocks could I use since that particular shape doesn't exist, or that texture doesn't exist? What what can I use to mimic that? And 
shoot. Uh, it's been, it's, it's really interesting for me. Uh, I enjoy thinking like that. Especially because, um, I, I really want to get good at this. So, I, I think it's a, it's a healthy little hobby to have. It's creative and... Even though we don't really get our hands dirty, we do the kind of thinking that that's required of us to uh, to feel accomplished when we're done and not feel bad about it. I've never, I, I, except for when a build doesn't look good, I never feel bad about playing Minecraft. Uh, I, I've, I've felt guilty before playing games. You know, I could be using that time for more important things, but Minecraft is is just one of those. Perfect experiences for me. Just, I don't, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it's it's certainly a form of stress relief, which is very nice. You know, I, I've been a writer. Uh, I still consider myself a writer. I don't have as many jobs coming in lately, but um, writers write, and I write every day. But I. So I, I like, it's weird, but this is a different kind of creativity, but I think it, it works out all the same. There we go. And uh, I, I certainly get my, my creativity rock socked. Okay, can we, I don't think I have feather falling boots. Dang it. I'm so used to Funk City and having everything. I don't have a bucket. Oh, oh, don't fall. Don't fall. I got to go for it. I think I might be able to hit that. This is dumb. This was dumb. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. No. Oh. <laughs> I did not make it. That's that's fine. We have a zombie pigman farm. I didn't need 31 levels. Okay. You know what? That's gonna. I think that's that's a good location. Uh, let's see. I used two stacks of sixty-four to build that. Could I use a third? It could use a third. I think. Run the risk of making it too skinny, though. But uh, this design is gonna be partially based off uh, the lighthouse I did over on Funk City. I think it's a it's a good look. You know, it's simple. Yeah, there's enough detail on there, you know, to when you walk by, it's it's interesting. It's not a boring little pillar up. Uh There we go. Hey, did I drop anything else? Give me this. Got to have that. Let's get situated. And uh, Yeah, all right. Uh, we're not going to use dirt to pill up the rest of the way. Let's grab some more cobble. Should have grabbed it on the way out. Let's go do that. And I'm going to go ahead and put together this lighthouse. And I will catch you guys when I finish, and we'll move on to the next thing that we're going to be doing in today's episode. See in a little bit. Dang it! <laughs> I I I was trying. I got here because I thought it would still be night, but it is not night. It is dawn. The dawn has come, and you can't see the light. Uh, so we finished the tower. It is just a taller version of the one I did on the Funk City server, but I love the design so much over there and. It's a little hidden away. I wanted it to be visible, so I went ahead and kept it. Uh, it is very Asiatic. I don't know if that's going to work well with what we're doing over here yet, but this town hasn't really got its function yet. And frankly, I've been watching that that Marco Polo show on Netflix, so I, my head is totally in Asiatic builds. Um, from the minarets of Persia to to the Pogodas and other things and octagonal 
builds. It's I, I really want to do all that stuff, but mm, you know we're here now. So, but uh, I, as far as a a beacon system, I think it works. I did. Let's take a look better. Don't just fall. <laughs> let's do this. Let's do this before I just start rambling. Alright. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Put that there. There you go. And that. And this. And okay. So let's take a look over here. At it. Uh, I did think about going with flames on top. It's a bad guy. I wish I knew like what color each enchantment was, because I'm just curious about these spiders. The only one I know for sure when it happens is the invisible spider that kills me every single friggin' time. There you go. Um, so I thought about doing flames on top, like a more traditional medieval beacon system, but uh, I, I also wanted like. <laughs> <laughs> I like redstone, and I like making redstone lamps, and uh, so I went with that. Let's see, do we have enough? The I don't think we have enough the pillar, but we'll try. <sighs> I put all my tools up. Dang it! <laughs> all right, here we go. This is it. Um, very simple, you know. It's a real simple pattern. Cobblestone stairs, carved stone, and then stone brick stairs uh, underneath going upside down. And that pattern is just repeated all the way down. I think our final block is another carved stone. And that's by design. It was a little bit uh, lower. Lower? Higher? It doesn't matter. It wasn't ending on the carved stone like I wanted. And I wanted that big flat base. Big flat base uh, for it. Above there, you can see there are some daylight sensors, and those daylight sensors are sensing sun right now, so they are pushing uh, a sticky piston straight down, and that sticky piston's got a redstone block on top of it, or attached to it. So when the nighttime comes, these disengage, that sticky piston comes up with the redstone, and that redstone attaches to these um, redstone lamps, turning them on, giving us daylight sensing lights just like your home maybe uh, it's works really well I it's a design I've, I've always liked it took me a while to come up with uh, not this time but in the past it, it took me a while to come up with a way to to make something like this and make it not so ugly and I think I, I think I've done that I might want to change this out later with a little bit of spruce to add some change to it a little bit of um, variation to the uh, wood color, you know, maybe it'll look like uh, it got a little washed out, maybe, maybe a little spruce. Uh, I've heard some people say that jungle is a good way to go with it, but I'm not totally comfortable with that. Jungle makes me very uncomfortable, so we might not go with that. Let's try to make this jump without killing ourselves. Oh, whoa, no, I made it the first time! Oh, God! <laughs> I panicked after I landed. Alright, <laughs> I'll be right back. Cuckoo-choo, Oh, cuckoo-choo. Cuckoo-choo, Mrs. Ro Where are you going, Mrs. Robinson? Hey guys, we are back. I just watched The Graduate again. It's so good. I know a lot of you guys out there are probably pretty young. Uh, I mean, Graduate came out in 1967. Uh, when I was a wee lad. Just kidding. I'm not that old. Um, but if you guys like really great movies that kind of define something, define uh, a whole job... Three times. I died three times in this episode. Three. I just wanted to tell you folks about a really great movie called The Graduate. If you haven't seen it, Dustin Hoffman, 
excellent. Just watch it. Pretty much every movie afterwards just ripped it off. Uh, the entire last 20 minutes of Wayne's World 2 was just The Graduate. Um, every John Cusack movie in the 80s and early 90s was just The Graduate, except with that part of The Graduate that makes it weird. <laughs> makes it more realistic and a better movie. Oh, God. Of course, and there's another one here. There's another one here. Get away from my stuff first. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha, you're an idiot. Suck it. All right, give me my stuff back. <laughs> oh, man. Ah. <sighs> And so you had a bad day. Put that on. Put that on. I don't think I lost anything, which is good. Because I will scream. I will scream if I lost something. Eh. This hole looks natural. We'll leave it. Yeah, I'll fix it later. Alright, looks like I lost my pants and my helmet. Not bad. They were on their, their way out anyway. Yeah, they're not here. That's fine. You know what? I like being blown up. I'm happy that happened to me. Oops. All right, so some time has passed. Uh, my wife is not feeling very well, so I spent some of the day taking care of her. Um, I originally planned to do this next part on camera, but it's a simple build, so I'll just go ahead and show it to you, and we'll talk about how it's put together. It's not particularly hard, um, but I added some uh, hay bales over the water on this farmland, and it works. Um, hay bales is one of those things I don't think we use enough. I know I don't use it enough, and I'm, a lot of people don't really use them, uh, but they really make a build look more authentic. You know, if you if you have if you live in a place with a lot of wheat, and I seem to remember there being more wheat uh, growing up than there there is now in 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 the cities that I grew up in. Well, I guess it wouldn't be in the city, but near the cities I grew up in, uh, I used to notice it more. Maybe it's because I was a passenger, and now I'm not. I'm always a driver, but I don't know. Um, but uh, wheat uh, fields of wheat. You have these hay bales usually all around that I I think one of the machines do. I'm not really sure. I'm I'm not a hillbilly. Excuse, I'm sorry. I'm not rural folk. I'm not agricultural, <laughs> so I have no idea how it works. But that's usually there. Now, um, what we did over here. Let's take a look at it. Is we built a little horse buggy, huh? Built a little horse buggy with some pistons right there, and you'll know my doggy's mad. You'll notice a little hole right there hiding the lever. I gotta figure out what to do. Maybe if I took some bone mill, maybe this would work. Let's let's take a look at this. Did that help? A little bit it did, I guess. I guess I can't really make it any bigger there. All right, that's good enough. Don't want to overdo it, especially since this is being rolled around. We'll come up with a path that leads out of here, um, made out of harsh dirt. Give me one second. <sighs> Sorry about that. My bull terrier wanted to go outside so she can bark at the bulldog, and you can probably hear her now, but we just have to ignore it and move on. Uh, I did not realize that that's what she wanted to do. What a terrible, terrible dog. Uh, so we have to come up with some kind of pathway leading out of here eventually. Uh, probably use cores of dirt to do so, so that it makes sense that there's a buggy here. Otherwise, it's just a buggy parked in between two hills, and that's silly. Um, let's see, we use some, I guess this is a wheel well right here, some stairs, of course, to make up for that. Uh, got the back end of it over here, um, and then, of course, the wheel well's over here again. There's a lever in there. I don't know if I said that. I got a little distracted by my dog. And up here, we got hay bales going in a few different directions. That should be more randomized than that, uh, but I'll fix that later. And we use some rail uh, railroads, railways, uh, to act as tie downs. And then a little, just a little job right there. I don't know, just to have a different block up there. It works. I was hoping to do it um, all the way across on both sides, but if I do that, then these two start connecting, and that's just not gonna work for me. Maybe I can stretch it out to three, but I wanted a single wheel or a single access uh, trailer. I think it's called uh, wagon. You know, which is just two wheels instead of four. 
just because I, I think it looks cooler. Eventually, what I want to do is get some horses. I haven't found any horses yet, but I haven't really explored. Uh, place them in here. I'll probably have to turn these around, these stairs right here. Uh, I realize now they're they're upside down. <laughs> so what the... We can go ahead and do that now. Oop. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. How are we going to do this? Uh... Hmm. How do we do this? Yeah, there we go. Oh, this that's simple. <laughs> uh, complicating things for no reason, as usual. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to um, find some horses, uh, name them. I don't know, name them something. And then fence them off here to make it look like they're wearing harnesses. And that way they also cannot leave. It looks like it's just... Horses are waiting to, to take a little ride to where they need to go next. Uh, I think that looks really good. But uh, I was quoting Miss uh, 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 the Graduate earlier, talking about that movie. It's such a good movie. I forgot how good of a movie it was, and I was so thrilled because Steph had never seen it before. Uh, she, had, you know, it, it's one of those movies where so many people have uh, either mimicked it or uh, just ripped it off completely. <laughs> it feels like you've watched it before, but. You're not really aware of how great a performance Dustin Hoffman really put into it until you actually see it. It's I can't recommend it highly enough. It's a very enjoyable time, and Hoffman's one of those guys. It's just fun to watch him twist, <laughs> Get, just twist under the whims of uh, more sophisticated minds. It's really great. Uh, I suggest watching it, but I was very thrilled that she loved it. Oh man. It feels so good when you introduce something to somebody and they they genuinely like it, you know, and they, they, they get a kick out of it. And so that was great. But I think that's going to do it for today's episode. I want to do some more building, but uh, like I said, I, I just got kind of distracted by things uh, going on over here. But there will be another episode very soon. Hope you enjoyed. This is Will. I am signing off. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you next time.